Hello guys, welcome to the video. So recently I had uh, to use some providers inside a new Next.js version. And if you remember correctly, in the previous version of Next.js, which uses pages router, uh, you simply add underscore app TSX or JS, it doesn't really matter. And you just put into it your providers. For example, it's my uh, some site project in which I use this query client provider. It's a provider for React query. So you simply put it there, uh, use your compu component, uh, component, component, funny name, and uh, it simply works. You can just go into your, uh, actually into whatever component, component you want and use uh, your hooks and uh, fetch your data inside them. Uh, and it changes, it changes a little bit. If we look closely, we now have layout JS file, uh, which is a, a little bit different from underscore up. In my opinion, it's, 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 it's better. You know, it's much simpler, but uh, yeah, server components. This is where the little problems can happen. Uh, you can just simply like in the documentation they says put the provider uh, inside the layout because it's gonna yell at you because you're trying to use client component directly in server component but we are still gonna try to do it just to demonstrate that you cannot so i've got this uh, next.js project it's nothing more in it uh, I just uh, created the project and installed uh, React Query. All right, so let's get back here. Grab it from the documentation. All right, import. And as for now, if we look like uh, how it was looking in the um, previous version, it is supposed to work. So let's check this out, right? Go to the uh, our repo, uh, I mean our project, which is right here. And I don't know if it's gonna yell at us. All right, here it is. So I refreshed again, my bad. Functions cannot be passed directly to client components. It's actually, I'm not sure, but the message here is probably not correct, uh, but it doesn't really matter because it, if we were actually, we, we, we knew that it, it's gonna happen, but uh, it's actually pretty easy to fix it, you know? You simply have to create another file which is gonna be marked as use client, so it's gonna be a client component, and you're gonna export your provider from there. It's actually pretty, pretty simple, so let's do it right now. I'm gonna create the React Query Provider, the TSX. I'm gonna head back to the layout, grab that, and also export const react query provider. Cool, thank you, pilot. No, it's not what I want. Uh, return children inside and close this. We need to import some stuff and also grab again this query client. Also TypeScript is yelling at me, so let's fix it quickly. Children has type react dot react node. All right. And now we can simply uh, put it here. And now if I'm not mistaken, of course, we have to import it, of course. Uh, okay. It looks fine to me. Let's go to browser. React query provider is not defined. It's some old error. But now it should be fine, but it's not. Oh, of course. Here's my mistake, of course. Uh, we have to add use client directive. And if we go back, refresh, 
it should work like a miracle uh, and it is so to prove it because uh, you could not believe me I I prepared myself quite frankly and um, I have some code to use to show you that so here's some interface for to do here's my hook that we are gonna use to get that data and of course since it is uh, the newest version this component is gonna be treated as server component and we don't want it to be because we are using hooks you can use hooks only in the client component so also we're gonna have to says it's a client component it's really important because otherwise it wouldn't work okay what we are doing here is just uh, use our use query mm, qu uh, our key is just to do and we are fetching from some uh, api which are gonna give us array of to do's okay and then i have some components ready written which are going to show us this okay but i have some x here it needs to be data data and to do all right oh and the last thing i need to mm, tell that it's this type and, and it's an array array okay and the last thing it's possibly undefined so we're gonna check actually i i forgot forgot about it so if it's loading or there's no data return and if mm, loading let's say it's gonna just say loading you're probably handling it handling it uh, a little bit and uh, in other way in production or in your app but i guess it should work right now let's see loading data.map is not a function all right so i've made some mistakes let's see what this actually gives us back uh, it gives me all right my bad i have here it gives me one to do which i want a list of to do's let's see if it's working now and it is uh, it's not given this API is not given a real names but as you can see it doing some client side fetching if we are going to go to network and I guess I have to make it bigger for you guys uh, we can go to to do's and here it is our data so it was uh, fetch on the client side um, with react query Okay, so I guess it's all for the video. I hope you learned something. Uh, if you want to see more of that, just let me know in the comments and see you in the next one. See ya.